Tonight on Versus, it's an all-out Iraq attack when the tarantula throws down with the scorpion. Which is the deadliest hunter? Will the tarantula unleash an eight-legged beatdown? Or will the scorpion sting its way to victory? See it all here. It's Tarantula versus Scorpion. In tonight's battle, two ancient arachnids square off for the crown. First, ready to bring the sting, it's the giant forest scorpion. Coming into the ring with over 430 million years of street cred, the scorpion is a living legend among the arachnids. Using its tough-as-nails exoskeleton, the scorpion has its defense covered with an impressive set of armor made of chitin. Chitin is incredibly resilient and hard to puncture. It's a lot like keratin, the material in your fingernails. Measuring in at 23 centimeters long, the scorpion is an expert hunter. Scorpions feed on insects, spiders, and other scorpions. They've even taken down larger critters like lizards and rodents. Scorpions hunt by grabbing and trapping their prey with powerful pincers before bringing out their venomous stinger. Containing proteins that work in harmony to devastate the victim's circulation and nervous systems, scorpion venom is a deadly potion that can immobilize struggling prey. It sounds like the perfect weapon to bring to this fight, but it does come with a catch. The scorpion doesn't have unlimited ammo as it can only carry a certain amount of venom at a time. After the scorpion stings repeatedly, it needs time to recharge and produce more. This makes the scorpion hesitant to pull out its big guns. To defeat the tarantula, the scorpion will have to pick the perfect time to use its venom. Any miscalculations could cost it the match. And who's taking on this armored arachnid? Well, it's big, it's mean, it's the Goliath bird-eating tarantula. With eight legs that spread 30 centimeters, the tarantula is ready to deliver pain to its opponent. Along with bringing some paralyzing venom of its own, the tarantula secretes digestive enzymes into its prey. We're talking about liquefaction, folks. But that's not all. The tarantula will also use the tools of its trade. Tarantulas catch their prey by using their silk webbing as trip wires. When this spider's alarm goes off, it emerges from its burrow for a surprise attack. It also attacks using urticating hair. Tarantulas can fling buckshot of tiny irritating hairs to disorient their opponents. But will it be enough to break through the scorpion's superior armor? There's only one way to find out. The tiny titans are already circling each other, and it sounds like the tarantula is smack-talking the scorpion. Tarantulas can rub their fangs together to produce a warning hiss called stridulation. Uh, I'm sorry, folks, I've been told that the translation is not suitable for broadcast. Not about to let some spider push it around, the scorpion makes a pincer swipe. The tarantula dodges and counters by throwing a barrage of sharp hairs. Disoriented, the scorpion throws a wild tail swipe. It's a miss. Not to mention, it's a bad move for the scorpion as it only has enough venom for a few more strikes. The tarantula uses its silk webbing to immobilize the scorpion, but the scorpion's pincers cut through it like paper. The scorpion doubles down and unleashes a barrage of pincer attacks. Using all eight of its legs to evade those razor-sharp pincers, 
the tarantula forgets to protect its most vulnerable spot. The scorpion makes its move and swipes down, stinging the tarantula. Knowing it doesn't have long before the paralysis kicks in, the tarantula backs off and retreats to fight another day. Give it up, folks! The winner is the scorpion! Tonight saw the tarantula get sloppy with its defense. Tarantulas have a weakness in their abdomen because the layer of chitin armor is significantly thinner. Would the tarantula have won if the scorpion missed its final shot? Well, sound off if you want a rematch. In the meantime, how about more legs, more pincers, and all the bug action you can handle? Well, brace yourself for bed bugs versus cockroaches. We'll see who wins on another round of versus.